Hi, it's time for Green Shorts, and I'm here on the site of the Green Shorts Greenhouse Project. We've been doing a lot of vlog content on the channel, and it's about time you hear from Luis Emery, the builder. When it comes to green building, there are lots of factors involved. You know, we think about the house as a system. Why do we approach it that way? Well, you know, everything affects everything on a house. So there is no particular strategy that you say, well, let me just focus about HVAC. So you need to look at the cause and effect of every component that goes into building a house. Building green is nothing more than understanding how a building works and how to combine uh, readily available technology practices to maximize their value without breaking the bank because we all have limited resources. So uh, our skill when we're trying to design a home your house, we were trying to hit a certain uh, price point for cost. And that it was basically the main driver on how to design your house. But always keeping in mind the effect and consequence of the decisions that we made. You brought up the idea of value, and, and value connects to budget. But what, what value I think represents is the idea that we have the cost to construct, but then we have the cost to operate. So yes, we are spending more money to build this green home, but the cost of operation is going to be far lower. So by making a home that's durable, it's going to last longer, and then we're reducing our cost to operate over the lifespan of the house, that, that investment's gonna save dollars down, down the road. Yeah, and, and it's all about the value, you know, so what does value mean for people? Is it the upfront cost or the lifetime cost to that house? And for the homes that we build, you have uh, intangible benefits. So when you're building a green home, it's important to consider not just the cost of construction, but the value of the investment in the operational costs is far greater than what you're spending on it in the construction costs. You need to look at the whole life cycle of your investment and figure out where will you be at peace with your investment. Not all homes can be net zero. You can reach a point of diminishing return. You know, how green can you go where it, stop, it stops making sense? So taking into consideration the entire life cycle cost and investing where you find value, that's one thing that makes a green home green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for new videos weekly. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, uncovering what makes a greenhouse green.